three passion fruit cocktails with the original Chinola a few months ago. I used it as a one-to-one -one substitute for passion fruit syrup or puree. I'm going to do the same thing with the mango. Today, I'll be making a mango jalapeno margarita, a mango passion fruit mojito, and a mango porn star martini. Let's give the new mango version a try and see how it compares to the original. Now, I remember the original one being nice and tart for a liqueur, so let me refresh my memory. Yeah, it's really like thick like a liqueur, but it, it really has a great passion fruit taste. So now I will try the new one. It's definitely more mellow and not as tart, and I think it'll be great in cocktails. There are lots of ways to make a spicy margarita. Today I'm going to be using two ounces of Tanteo Jalapeno Tequila, three quarters of an ounce of Chinola Mango, one ounce of lime juice, and half an ounce of agave nectar. For fun and some extra jalapeno flavor, I'm going to shake it with a few slices of jalapeno, even though this tequila brings quite a bit of spicy flavor. I just want a little extra and I want the look of the jalapenos. Then I'm going to garnish it with a lime wheel and a little jalapeno slice. So there's our mango jalapeno margarita. So for the mango passion fruit mojito, I'm going to start out by putting some mint leaves in my glass. We're going to build it like right in the glass. We're going to add one ounce of lime juice and half an ounce of simple syrup. I'm gonna go ahead and gently muddle the mint leaves. I'll do an ounce of the chinola mango and then two ounces of white rum. There's our mango passion fruit mojito. Next, we're going to make a mango porn star martini. We're going to use one and a half ounces of vanilla vodka. A few months ago, I just put a couple of pieces of vanilla bean in this broken shed vodka, and you get a really nice, strong vanilla flavor in it. I'm going to use an ounce of chinola mango, half an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of vanilla syrup, a sidecar of sparkling wine. Here we have our three Chinola mango cocktails. Let's give them a try. We'll start out with the mango jalapeno margarita. I made one of these the other day and I just used this Tanteo jalapeno tequila and it gave it a good jalapeno flavor, but I the pieces of jalapeno made it even better and I think they make the presentation a little nicer too. And I can definitely taste the mango. Mango and jalapeno are a great pairing. Um, you can also get this tequila and habanero if you want it even spicier. So moving on to the mojito. The mint's actually a way stronger flavor than the mango liqueur in this one, but it gives it a nice color. I can still taste it. And maybe like smelling the mint as soon as I go to drink this one is what's making it taste a little closer to just a regular mojito to me. I'm surprised because I used a full ounce of the chinola in here and it just still has a stronger minty flavor which is good because it is a mojito. Now finally, I will try the mango porn star martini. That's definitely the sweetest one out of the bunch. 
And I kind of forgot about my vanilla beans in my vodka bottle, so it's a very, very strong vanilla flavor, but it's pretty tasty. I think a lot of people would really like this one. Um, I'll go ahead and cleanse my palate with some of the Prosecco I put on the side. Try it again. Just, you know, for science. It's a little too sweet for me, so I might reduce the amount of vanilla syrup next time, especially when I'm using another liqueur. If you like this video, give it a like below and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you next time. Cheers!